Right. Those are the distribution reservoir. So now we will look into on how to find out the volume of the distribution reservoir and also the pumping rate of the uh, distribution reservoir. Okay, so if we remember why do we need to have distribution reservoir? Because it can provide, okay, they, they can provide the gravity factor to the service area. Or what I'm trying to say is the water being sent from the distribution reservoir through gravity system. Right. Uh, what are the distribution reservoir? Okay. Why do we need distribution reservoir or storage reservoir? Okay. Or service reservoir. So basically, the first point or the the first reason why we need to have storage reservoir is it will act as a storage for at least twenty four to thirty six hours. Okay. Let's say the water treatment plant has got to shut down the uh, uh, treatment. So, if there is no service reservoir and the public or whoever live in the uh, township will not be able to obtain the water. But because of we have a storage reservoir, and the storage reservoir should be designed uh, to cater for 24 to 36 hours uh, of the flooring needed at uh, that particular township. Okay, let's say one town. Town A, okay. Normally, it needs forty million liter per day. Okay, so the storage reservoir should have uh, forty million liter or sixty million liter. Okay, one and a half days. Okay, thirty six hours is one and a half days. So that means it should have sixteen million liter. So that if any emergency water treatment stops operating, then they can provide water to the uh, service area. And then the water in the storage reservoir also is used, being used for the fire purposes, okay, fighting fire purposes. And also is for to equalize supply and demand, okay, what I mean by supply and demand, if you remember my example in my uh, water distribution system, okay, if the pumping rate is less than the water needed in certain area, so that, that, that is the time for the reservoir to help, okay, to equalize the supply. For the water and the last thing is that the purpose of distribution reservoir is to maintain constant pressure right we have uh, several types of reservoir we also have ground surface reservoir okay this is a ground surface reservoir so you have a circular type and we have a square type okay and this is a fiber reinforced uh, storage reservoir this is on the land okay so we also have an elevated reservoir. Okay, elevated reservoir is like this. Okay, this is what we call as elevated reservoir. We have a concrete reservoir. We also have a plastic reservoir. Okay, reinforced plastic. And we also have a permaglass reservoir and steel reservoir. Okay, so these are all elevated reservoirs. These are the activities being carried out in the reservoir. So they be checking the pH, the stability of the water okay, in the service reservoir. Sometimes, uh, so sometimes they also do cleaning process in the service reservoir. Okay, if you remember about a year ago, more, more than a year ago, probably in March 2019, okay, there was a case whereby in service reservoir, we found a dead body in the reservoir in the Greece in Milan. So because of that, they have to stop. They have to immediately clean this service reservoir. And another story that uh, is quite funny, okay, is happening in Skudai, uh, Johor, whereby some drunken people was uh, using this, the water in the service reservoir okay, uh, to take bath. Okay, they were having fun. Taking bath at the service reservoir in Skudai. So they were eventually being caught by the police, okay, and being brought to the police station. 